What's up, Sam? Well, my name is Lou Atlas. You always do that dope. And, um, hello there, everyone. I'm a little close to the camera. I like to see a little butterfly fly across the screen. My little brother made this for me a couple months ago. So this is pretty cool. A little butterfly. I always keep it by here. It's the only bug I don't squish, and if you guys have been watching my videos, I've been squishing bugs like a bu 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 beast. Oh, stealing things from other YouTubers. Fun, right? That's what Luna does. Uh, anyway, so since this is like an update video somewhat, I don't know, you guys haven't seen my face in a while. You know, I'll do the thing like those guys do when they try to take cute pictures where they like put their eyebrows up like. <coughs> I look gross. <laughs> Very unattractive. Alright, uh, continuing on with what I'm doing. Uh, Alright, so, Ace Attorney. I'm literally almost done. I have like another hour or two to record and then I'm finito. Or Finn. As I learned in the Sonic Adventures game for the Dreamcast, Finn actually means final, which I didn't know that. You know, I had asked my grandpa that after I got done beating Tails as uh, part of it. I was like, huh. We didn't know that. It's kind of dumb because in the end he's like, oh, he's running with Sonic. He's like, ah. He's like, just fucking fly, bitch. And then he does. I'm like, yeah. And then he ends up beating Sonic in the race because, in the, you know, whatever. You know, I remember this. I, I actually played it a couple months ago. So I remember Sonic Adventures, probably the only Sonic. Uh, and Sonic Adventures, no, Battle Adventures 2 or something for the GameCube. That was really good. Really good. Anyway, um, hello there. <laughs> So that's almost done. Uh, I have to render it. I'm pretty much rendering my whole sessions. So, like, once you start, guys start getting to episodes 40 or 41, 42, I render my whole sessions. And uh, all those wonderful things like that, if you guys are wondering. So, you know, they're going to be long. Uh, I believe one of them is above an hour. I believe there's two episodes above an hour. So that's good. Um, so when I'm done with that... Earthbound will sneak his little head up, and this is a it sneaking its head up. <sighs> that looked like a prostate exam. <laughs> like, all right, we're going in. Don't you use gel or jelly? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> At least put Vaseline on it. Um, but yes, 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 yes. Sorry about that. I'm a little off. It's like 5:39 a.m. in the morning. I have not gone to bed. Can you tell by my eyeball? Eyeball. I'm a man. I'm a man, baby. Man, not really. Anyway, okay. So, Earthbound will sneak its little head up, like I said. And also about the secret playthrough, I pretty much revealed what kind of genre game it was in the Animal Crossing episodes. Um, but, yeah, pretty much I get to stock, and that's the best thing about this secret playthrough. Now, if I do complete the secret playthrough before I, uh, before EOS is done, I will upload the playthrough. You know, there's no point of it having sitting there on my computer in in the file all compressed and wonderful. You know, I, I just upload it. I'll upload it. You know, I'm doing the whole session thing where if I play like a two-hour session, I'm rendering that two hours uh, unless I have reasons not to, or there's a reason to do so because I want to create a cliffhanger you know like that one movie where that one guy who can't really talk well he's the Italian stallion I believe <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, so yeah Explorers of the Sky I haven't really progressed much in that I've been doing a lot of Phoenix right and then probably this whole weekend I'm probably gonna spend uh, rendering Phoenix right later today when I wake up I'm probably gonna finish it off um, definitely this last case has been a step above all the other cases <laughs> Uh, greatly, greatly, very, very much so, you know, uh, and, um, yeah, and that's it for that, EOS haven't really done anything, and, and for the cool cats out there, the cool cats call it, call it EOS, but, you know, the regular stupid kids call it, uh, Explorers of the Sky, <laughs> uh, Explorers of Sky, there is no the, which fucked with my mind when I first seen it, I, I would think they would add the into it, but no, yeah, but um, yes, ex explores of uh, of sky. I haven't really done much. I'm pretty much like right there at the ending sequence to be able to complete Darkrai, and then I come. And then after that, I'm gonna recruit and I'm gonna 
uh, do all these like, little extra missions that I, I have done, and then I'll do the extra, I guess, side quest story missions that you get in the, in the episode, episode missions, episode uh, missions, I'll be doing those, and apparently those are lengthy, someone's been whining and complaining for me to do the one where you pretty much are Dustnor and and Groville, or Grovile, I guess you could say, Groville, I like saying Groville, and yeah, so update on me, uh, I guess. This is a channel update, and I do run the channel. I have a smiling face. Look at my face smile. I'm so happy. God damn it. <laughs> um, so, people. Uh, me, uh, as of recently, I've been doing pretty good. Um, I've read this one manga. For those of you who've watched my Animal Crossing series, you know, the most recent episode from yesterday. Uh, I believe episode 191 or 192. I was really, really enjoying this one anime, uh, Watamote or something like that, or uh, I don't have any friends or something along those lines. It's pretty much, it's this girl going to high school where she believes she's popular, and she pretty much ends up trying to build up her image to try to become popular like she was in middle school, and which she wasn't. She's being delusional. And uh, she goes through these misadventures, you know, the writers are definitely, are sick in the fucking head, and I love the writing, and obviously the artwork, and she's adorable, and she is, uh, pretty much my banner on my YouTube, if you guys are wondering, of uh, a main character, and uh, that's her, and, um, yep, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting, I read it all in one day, I watched the anime, the anime was the thing that can't even go on, because it was in my backlist of manga to read, but I was like, <clears throat> No, no, I didn't feel like doing it at all. And then, since I watched the anime, I got the thing to do it, you know, it, you know, it's, it's something like that kind of make me happy, because I could kind of understand what she's going through in some specific points. Obviously, most of the stuff in there is kind of far-fetched, like how she wanted to be molested. <laughs> yeah. She wanted to be molested on the train, and when she thought it was happening, she was scared and didn't want it to happen. She's like, I'm gonna get raped. And then she tells her friend she got raped, and her friend's like... <laughs> yeah, definitely. She's a, she's a bright personality. Um, but yeah, I've been really, uh, really, really on with that. Um, but personal life, nothing really too crazy. Momo tried to invite me to a bar... It's like Hooters, which is pretty much like a, not a bar, but like, you know, a bar and pub kind of, no, a, pu a pub and e a pub and eatery or some shit like that. It's something weird. Um, but pretty much like the, there's girl, there's female servers always walking around. It's kind of like Hooters for those of you who know. And Hooters is pretty much these girls with these like just shirts and just like, you know, if you touch, if you took your shirt and you tied it up like this and you know, woo, have it like that. Yeah, you're not seeing me. <laughs> uh, a deep V. Luna wears deep Vs. You know, it's from me chewing on and pulling on and all that. But, um, but um, he tried to invite me that, to one of those. Um, I got hair in my mouth from doing that. Sorry about that. I have long hair and it sheds. I'm shedding like a dog. <laughs> um, but no. Um, yeah, he tried to invite me to that place. I was like, bro, I can't go there. I can't eat in a place like that. Yeah, it's nice to look at females, but I feel uncomfortable doing that. I don't know. I never really liked staring at a girl. Because it's weird. I'd rather stare through the internet, you know? Just like right now, I'm pretty much stalking one of my, um... Not stalking, just looking back, just being uh, interested in how he was handling things. Uh, on Tumblr. Way back when, which also, BT dubs, that's the, that's the cool way to say, by the way, uh, the new kids are saying, and I'm trying to stay hip and cool, you know, because I suck as a YouTuber, and I gotta stay hip with the things, I need to get a haircut too, I think kids today like to the gays, the gays like to shave the side, ah, fuck, 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 fuck. likes to shave the side of the head, and keep this long, and probably put it to the side like that, oh yeah, recently, I've injured my arms, somehow, but, you know, I'm kind of scared to do it now because it is painful, but pretty much my arms can't go beyond a 90 degree uh, So 95 degrees, it's a little painful and then if I keep on going more 
it starts to hurt really bad. I don't know why. Um, I can't bend my arm all the way back. Like, if I were to, like, touch my shoulder, I can't do it. And I don't. I refuse to do it because it hurts. And this one, I can't lift it up to the side for some reason. Man. It actually hurts. And I was thinking, I was like, holy shit. What if, what if my muscles are atrophying off my bone? Ugh, it'd be weird. But if that was happening, my arm would go, would sag. <laughs> and it would be painful and I would be be sick and it would be disgusting and I don't think I would be making any videos for any time soon to recover from something that devastating uh, definitely atrophy is bad but yeah I think that's a bit nothing really too interesting I haven't really done much I haven't really talked to any viewers as of late I haven't gone on Skype uh, I've answered a couple messages there's uh, a couple people asking me about some specific playthroughs and trying to figure out what the secret playthrough is, uh, which I pretty much told you uh, what it is in the, animal, in the Animal Crossing stuff, sort of, sort of, I hinted at least half of it, um, but yeah, I'm in, I'm finally, you know, getting close, I'm finally uh, doing what I wanted to accomplish, it took like almost three weeks time to do so, you know, and uh, once EOS goes down, uh, then, you know, that's when things start, hopefully start rolling on my channel, and then Mother will go down, so things will start falling down like a domino, and I'll bring on new stuff. Do I know new games I'm gonna play? I don't know, I've been feeling like a Mega Man game. Uh, and then, you know, I'm feeling Tokimiki Girls, maybe go back to that, because I do have a big regret of not playing that. Uh, not doing the game, because no one was fucking watching it back when. Where, like, I, I would got, I got a total, like, it's always the, like this for every single, uh, game, and this was, like, back probably minus 10 to 9 months from now uh, from where we are now 10 to 9 months and um, this is back when um, I was trying to keep people around uh, you know try to be the good to good guy youtuber play everything everyone wanted you know I thought because you know when I because when I was a viewer I kind of like wanted some view some of my favorite youtubers to play said games to for them to have the experience because you know I've always watched for people's experience about a game um, Sometimes, uh, you know, the entertainment does go in, and things do become entertaining when you're a fan of that said person. If you give two shits about that person or the subject or what they're playing about, you know, things do get boring. Um, it's very rarely someone can make that very good. But hey, I'm a piece of shit and I suck, <laughs> so who knows? Uh, that's just me, I guess. Um, but, you know, I, I quit that game because no one was viewing it then. I got, like, two views per video. And if you guys look at my playlist of Tokimiki Girls, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How many views? Like, all, every single one has at least, like, 200 views. And it was a very good series. And I actually recorded all the way up to 31 episodes. And there's only 11 episodes on, the, on my YouTube. You know, I deleted those episodes because I was like, fuck it, man. I'll just do Katwa Shoujo. You know, I know people like that. So, In which people didn't really like it in the beginning. People complained that I played it. And then, you know, it got its own little following, and then they all disappeared, and some people are staying because they feel guilty, you know? Um, let's see. I think that is about it. Nice little talky talk with you guys. Oh, I have a Tumblr, by the way. I'm probably going to be using it a little bit more. Um, I'm probably going to put my podcast up there. Probably going to do little bloggy blog updates with my own lines. Try to go into the Tumblr life. I want to be a fat 15-year-old lesbian and be on Tumblr. So, you know, hmm, I don't know if I'll show pictures of cutting my, uh, cutting my, ow, cutting myself. Hoo, hoo. Oh wait, you don't cross the road, you go down it. I forgot. This is what this girl named Tiffany told me. Now, she was the girl I was gonna date and then she just followed, totally fucking dropped me. Oh, by the way, I got a phone call from an ex-girlfriend uh, a couple days ago. And, uh, she was this girl who, where she kind of like left me out of nowhere we've dated for like probably four to five months and she left me out of nowhere and um pretty much i ended up learning that she cheated on me with this guy and you know breaking off and blah, 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 all this stuff but pretty much she she called me she got the hold of my number somehow and she pretty much apologized for what she did and how she did it because she just broke up with me she's like i'm breaking up with you through text and just never talked to me again in school and just ignored me and everything about me and, um, I tried contacting her, always, always, I always do that when at the end of the breakup, try to contact her, just 
see what happened, what went wrong, and usually most of the girls don't. You don't talk to me. But she ended up to contact me after like three to four years. And, um, you know, she apologized for me for cheating on me and all this wonderful stuff. Which felt, it felt really good because I never really felt bad, uh, mad at her for anything because it was just a high school relationship. I didn't really think anything of it, even though she was like one of the five or six girls that were very influential in my life. But, yeah, that is about it. My name is Luna. I actually have to compete really bad. So until next time, stay frosty, everyone. Stay cool. Slick that hair back, baby. Ooh, floop. Until next time, stay frosty. I look so fucking cool doing that, bruh.